Hello traders, today is the 29th of November 2014. I normally talk about Forex, but today I'm going to talk about two indices. The American indices, the Dow Jones and the S&P 500. The reason I'm going to talk about these is because I believe uh, we have a golden, op a golden opportunity in front of us here. I want to share it with you. This is educational, it's up to you entirely what you do with this information, but I want to point it out to you. So let me start with the Dow Jones here. This is a monthly chart on the Dow Jones. Each bar is one month in price action. So the first thing I want to show you is this. Very obvious, I find it amazing how, how these uh, levels hold and many many novices will not see this information. This is the bigger picture, you need to look at the bigger picture. And you'll see in all my previous videos I, I talk about the same, same concepts, price action, support and resistance and Fibonacci. Now look at this, price comes up to this point here falls away. Price comes up to this point here, falls away. Price comes up to this point here, falls away. Now you can see it's getting a bit more aggressive there. The, the, the uh, retracements aren't as severe as previous because one, one almost happened here, dropped down. But again, price is reaching this major level of resistance again on the Dow Jones. Okay. Now is it going to fall down from here? I certainly think it is. Because this is this line has been so respectful in the past that it's highly likely to, to uh, offer some very strong resistance again. But that's not. I'm not just going to base my decisions on what I'm seeing there. I then delve deeper, look at price action, etc., etc. So let me do that now. So first of all, let me clean up this this uh, chart, and now I'm going to move down to the daily chart. Don't worry too much about this price action here. Saying it looks as if it's broken the uh, resistance. There's a slight flaw with method trader that when you drop down time frames, the, the lines, the uh, support resistance lines don't quite line up properly. But that's fine. Just uh, this is still absolutely fine. Uh, so now uh, I want to focus on the price action here. Let me just zoom in slightly. Look at the price bars here for for for, for two weeks now. The price price bars are really struggling in this area, all across here and all across here. I've been in this trade now for two weeks and I've felt the pain because this particular bar here was because of the Chinese uh, reducing their interest rate so that was um, a surprise to me. I was expecting it to come down from there but that's trading. But uh, you can see these price bars, massive amounts of indecision here. Look at these big chunky bars in the past all back here and then all of a sudden we get to this level where we know there's a massive resistance uh, line and then we're getting all this uh, price action saying, "Oh, I don't know what I don't know what to do." Millions of traders are not sure what to do here. Lots and lots of indecision. Now, to add weight to this, let's uh, let me show you some other uh, interesting facts here. So, I add some MACD. Now, MACD, I have talked about it in the past. So I'll go over it quickly now. I use MACD to give me an idea as when uh, we may get turns in the markets and I'm seeing a turn potentially happening now. So if I put my crosshair here and I, I move up to here, I'll just draw in this now. So from here you'll see that price has just moved higher and higher and higher. But MACD, this is where MACD becomes uh, very interesting. This is classic MACD divergence where price is going one way but MACD is going the other so if you look you uh, if you add all this information in at once you'll see that if I line that all up together you'll see the price moved higher MACD is moved lower that is a significant sign that we're likely to see a turnover of price a retracement of some sort so I'm very much uh, of the opinion that we're about to see a retracement in the Dow Jones. Let me get rid of these drawings, I'll zoom out slightly. Now to add further weight, I'm going to add one more indicator. I don't like f uh, making my charts too messy. I'll add one more indicator just to back this up. So I'm going to add the momentum indicator. Very similar concepts uh, to the MACD, but uh, a lot of professional traders use this indicator. Now, exactly the same scenario. So I'll draw this in. So if you'll see that this is on the daily chart. Look at the momentum here. Lower and lower and lower. Getting lower, massively lower on the momentum. But if I draw a line up to here to line this up, you can see 
that price, all prices done during that period is go higher and higher and higher. Again, classic diversions. Screaming sell signals, that is. Nothing's guaranteed in trading, but when you've got MACD saying sell, momentum saying sell, you've got resistance, massive resistance on the monthly chart, price bars are saying a potential sell because there's so much uh, indecision there. Look at that indecision. And then I'll back it up further. So let me just remove those. I'll go over to the S&P 500 now. This again is a monthly chart on the S&P 500. Look at this. It's uncanny how this stuff works. But I'm going all the way back down here, uh, right back in, in back in time. I can't see what that month is there because this this is in the way. But you can see how this line is respected again and again and again. So once price broke that line there, it then came down and then on the way back up, respected it again, respected it again, respected it again, respected it again, and respected it as we speak now, as I speak now. So this price has just come up to that level yet again. This was on Friday, and well, I think it's Thursday hit it and it's since uh, come back down. So exactly the same. Um, kind of scenario as you're seeing on the Dow. So this is a clustering of events now, guys. That's two different uh, indices saying the same thing, potentially. Now, like I said, trading is trading. Anything could happen, but you cannot deny the facts here that that line has been so solid in the past, and I potentially see this dropping down and retesting this lower uh, trend line on this monthly chart. But now, again, let me go down to the daily because I always like to back up my decisions with price action. So I'll go down to the daily chart, and hey, what do we see here? Right, so the again indecision uh, around that area, and then a, a, a nice strong selling bar on the Friday or Black Friday. The big selling bar there. So is this the time now for the S and P to fall as well? I don't know, but I'm just pointing out the facts. Again, this is educational for you. Um, it's uncanny how these levels are holding. The price action is now confirming a potential sale. So if we can see a uh, Monday drop slightly lower, then this is game on. It's, it's a brilliant looking trade. Again, now I add MACD to this this uh, this chart. Sorry, that's momentum. Let me just do Mac MACD. Excuse me. MACD. Exactly the same. Let me draw this from here up to here. You'll see price is rising. MACD is getting lower. Okay, lower MACD, higher prices. MACD divergence. Okay, so that's clear, very clear. And then momentum, add momentum here. Exactly the same as before, guys. I'll just pull it out though, just so it's very, so I can. So I can uh, really clarify what I mean. It's very obvious. Price is moving higher. Momentum is doing the opposite. Completely the opposite. Very strong signal for a sell on both indices here. Okay. You don't get opportunities like this very often. All-time highs. MACD momentum price action. Everything's saying. This is a sell. If it goes higher, I'll be amazed. But uh, but it is trading. Nothing's guaranteed. But I point out the facts here. Uh, I can normally get uh, pretty good accuracy on turns on, on the markets. Uh, so this is a golden opportunity. I really like what I'm seeing here. I will be in these trades. So how much of a retracement are we going to get? A get? I don't know. But the potential there is is significant. Um, but don't forget your Fibonacci levels, etc., etc. I won't go into that now because this video is getting quite long now. But there's the facts, guys. I can go into more detail. For example, implied volatility in the options market. That's also showing a uh, potential turnaround in the markets because oh, I won't go into it too much detail. But if you want to look at it, look at implied volatility. Do a Google search for it and try and learn a bit about that. And that's also saying uh, the markets are about to turn. The facts are there in front of us guys, I've pointed them out to you, it's a lovely opportunity, um, I hope 
uh, and wish you luck if you decide to take this. Thank you for listening, hope you enjoyed the video, bye.